Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part 16 of my Steins Gate Let's Play. In the last episode, we explored uh, Ferris's ending, where unfortunately Okabe lost the time machine and the you know friendships and relationships he had with the lab mems. But uh, in return, Mayuri is safe, everybody is safe, and he is in a relationship with Ferris. So it was very bittersweet. But we're going to go back in time a little bit and we are going to continue on with the main story and see what happens when we agree to erase uh, basically Ferris's father's existence. So this is going to be a little depressing, especially because Ferris is mostly going to remember uh, what happened. So uh, yeah, we're going to continue on and we're going to see how the timeline diverges this time. So let's go. All right. Okay, JK on Ransom. I love you, Papa. See you soon. Let's do it. Sorry, Ferris. Chapter 8, Fractal Androgynous. My head spins. I feel faint. Slowly, the world reasserts itself. I've teleported to the lab development room. Ferris is standing next to me. Reading Steiner is telling me the world line has changed. Additionally, the injuries the viral attackers inflicted on my body have vanished. So is the pain. Ferris is standing in the center of the room, looking around. The tears that were in her eyes just a moment ago are gone. Today, just a moment ago, Ferris was fighting to hold back her tears, but that Ferris is no more. In her place is the usual cute, cheerful Ferris with an impish smile on her face. I look at the phone in my hand. It's not my phone, but one with several cute, girly cat doll phone straps attached. So I think, uh, didn't Okabe say that she would have some sort of remembrance of her father? So, like, even though she might not know exactly what happened, there'll be, like, some sort of... I guess almost like a feeling of... Not deja vu, but, like, she's gonna have these memories that she shouldn't have. Yeah. Ferris walks up to me with a teasing smile on her face. She pokes at my fingers with her index finger. Ferris gently takes her phone from my hand. もし見たのなら忘れてほしいにゃ。あれはこの中に封じ込めておかないとダメなのにゃ。出ないと奴らが目覚めてしまうのにゃ。で、今日は今のは突っ込みどころだにゃ。あれってなんだよっていつもの今
But one thing is clear. I can never return to that world line again. Well, I have a save file. I technically could. <laughs> Ferris can never see her father again. The only thing I can do is apologize. On this world line, Mayuri invited Ferris to come hang out at the lab. Apparently, she came to see a costume Mayuri had made. Ferris had work after this, so she, le uh, so she soon leaves the lab. After seeing Ferris off, I head towards Yonabayashi Shrine. Oh, it looks like we're going to be doing maybe Luca next. We, uh, we haven't really heard from Luca very often lately. Uh, Mayuri, Kaede-chan had a fight with her boyfriend. How do I get them to make up? Maishi's never had a fight with anyone, so I think it's mysterious. I couldn't fight with the person I like. Uh, that's because you're a gentle girl, Mayuri. It is mysterious. Why are people so cruel to each other? Since when do you have someone you like? I figured you'd put food before romance. LOL. I'll put that one. <laughs> Try and have a little bit of levity after all that seriousness. On the way, I stop at Chuidori and take a look around. Got the state. The Moe stores exist again. Animate, Toranora, uh, Mandarake, Gamers, Lemtara, Le uh, Melon Books, Asobit City. They've all returned to the streets of Akiba. There's a gigantic anime-themed banner hanging from the soft map ma uh, building. Maids walk the streets handing out leaflets. Cosplaying girls advertise in storefronts. But the return of this familiar scenery brings no relief to my heart. There is only pain, for everything I see confirms that Ferris has lost her father. But I can't stop here. And I feel bad he's just holding the burdens of all of these things that he knows that nobody else knows, and he can't really talk to anybody about it. I shake my head and hurry to the shrine. On the way, I notice that the satellite is missing from Kaido- uh, Radikon's rooftop. Of course it is. Suzuha is gone. The thought brings a new pang of grief to my heart. Before this is over, how much more pain will I shoulder? Probably a lot. Mayuri again. Maishi does have someone she likes. Hehehehe. <laughs> Aww. I just can't imagine, like, Mayuri being his girlfriend. She's like a little sister. Sorry. Sorry, Mayuri. I know there's, like, the dating game uh, with the girls, but even in that, I don't think I could romance her. It would just almost seem wrong. I pass beneath the archway and enter the silent courtyard. I walk up to the main building and jab the intercom. After a few presses, I get a reply. Hi, so, in this one, Luca is still a girl, right? In this timeline, I believe? It's hard to keep track. Lukako comes out. Girly as always, even though he's a guy. Wait. Yeah, okay. No, wait. This Lukako is a genuine girl. Lukako. お前の父上に聞いてくれ。IBN5100という古いパソコンがここに奉納されているはずなんだ。え、あ、古いパソコン？Hmm? I think Lukako went pale when I mentioned the computer. She lowers her face immediately, so I can't be certain. Lukako hurries inside. It looks like she knows something. Lukako's dad soon appears. I rush the greeting and get down to business. Yes, finally, I've returned to the world line with the IBN 5100, except it's not going to be that easy. Did Luca do something to the computer? Did she take it and her father doesn't know? Luca's dad heads inside the sanctuary at the back. Luca, what do you know? What do you know? Maybe she got rid of it? Luca Ko has been silent this whole time. She keeps touching her hair and looking around nervously. Something is definitely wrong with her. Luca 
何しろ俺はそのお前の Oh yeah that's right <笑>大事なところを触ってしまったというかなというか Yeah and you never really apologize for that Crap I just made things more awkward I didn't have to say it like that ところでお前も IBN5100 のことは知っているのか Oh, does it, does it have nothing to do with the computer? It's just because of what he did to her before and that's why she's being all weird. No, it is something to do with the computer. Lugako shakes her head in an unnatural way. You're a bad liar, Luca. Lugako is looking more and more uncomfortable. Uh, Maybe I'm pushing her too hard. I should back off. I did a terrible thing to this girl. So it might be best if I stop treating her as my disciple. I need to treat her like a lady from now on. If I don't, I could get sued for sexual harassment or charged with attempted rape or indecency or something. But how exactly do I treat her like a lady anyway? I just treat everyone the same pretty much. Mayuri no tsukutta kosu wa. Kekkyuk kinai no ka? Eh? Hai. Hi. Why is this girl so lacking in confidence? I guess she can't help it if it's in her nature. But didn't she say her reason for becoming a girl was to gain confidence in the first place? Is that gonna be like, are we gonna be doing an alternate、uh, ending with Luca where it's like we basically、uh, just focus on getting her confidence up and being like her life coach? And yet she's a girl now, but she still seems the same inside. Yeah, it's gone. Luca's dad returns. His timing is good. My conversation with Lukako wasn't going anywhere. I try asking just in case, but he looks confused. Obviously, something unexpected has happened. The IBN 5100 isn't here? I press my hands to my temples and stifle a groan. The world line is still twisted. The IBN 5100 is like a mirage floating in front of me. I can see it, but never reach it. とても立派な女性になられましたな。彼女がまだ小学生の時でしたよ。執事の黒木さんと一緒にこの神社を訪ねてきてくれましてね。しかし、パソコンはなぜ消えたのでしょう。誰かに盗まれたかと思いましたが、他のものは手つかずでしたし、宝物殿の鍵は壊されてもいなかったですし。This contradicts Lukako's statement. Lukako said she didn't know about the IBN 5100. Luka wa nani ka shiranai ka na? Tashka koko saikin wa mai toshi, nenmatsu no osoji no hini ho motsden no soji o shite iru daro? Once again, Lukako hangs her head, almost shaking with fear. Does Luka somehow know that we went back and changed her into a girl? And if we get the IBN, if we get the IBN. And we change the world line that she's gonna become a boy and she doesn't want that, so she's usually, like hiding it from us. Her hands are trembling. Lukako, Or did someone threaten don't her for it? I don't know. I try asking again, but she doesn't raise her head. The look on her face betrays her. Lukako is lying. But why? Remember, she shouldn't even know about the IBN 5100. Why does she know? Because the world line changed. There's no other answer. Her D mail must be the cause. 
In Ferris's case, I didn't know what her D-mail was about. Oh, it is too. We're gonna have to go back and change her into a boy and she doesn't want that to happen. But in Lukako's case, I already know what it is. I want to be a girl. D-mail must have had influence beyond Lukako's sex. The butterfly effect. So, I'm guessing her alternate timeline is if we don't change the past, if we don't change the D-mail, she's gonna be a girl and I bet she's gonna start dating Okabe, but if we do change it, she's gonna become a boy again and that'd be sad and that's gonna make me sad. <laughs> it somehow changed the location of the IBN 5100. It was like that with Suzaha and with Ferris. I can't help but think the universe itself is keeping the IBN 5100 away from me. At any rate, when Lukako sent her D-mail, reading Steiner activated, meaning the D-mail changed the world line. If the IBN 5100 won't return to me on this world line, then my next step is to cancel Lukako's D-mail. In other words, I need to turn Lukako back into a guy. I wonder, like I said, I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous episode, maybe it's the people who send D-mails do have some memory of sending the D-mails, because Ferris remembers vaguely, and I thought just because Ferris was, you know, special, but Lukako seems to maybe have some reason why she's hiding the IBN from me. Suddenly I feel dizzy. It's not Heatstroke, and it's not reading Steiner. How am I going to explain this to Lukako herself? I feel bad, it's like I'm going back and I'm going back and I'm just getting rid of all of these people's dreams and, you know, changing things back to what way they don't want it to be. Just the other day when I called Lukako a guy, she cried. Then Kurisu and Mayuri ganged up on me. Can I get Lukako to go back to being a guy without stirring up trouble? This is going to be tough. Maybe I should consult someone about this. At first, I consider consulting Kurisu, but I don't think I should talk to a girl this time. Let's think a little. Well, there's not many guys to talk to. <laughs> I visit Tanuchi's house. The divergence meter is here. I need to know what it says. Cancelling Ferris's D-mail appears to erase the value by about 0.05%. Little by little, I'm approaching the goal of 1% divergence. The number gives me courage. Afterwards, Tanuchi recounts his memories of Hashida Suzu, just as he did on a previous world line. I stay until he's finished. It's past 6 p.m. when I get back to the lab. Da -da -da! Okaeri! <laughs> Welcome, Bakarin. <laughs> there are two girls in the lab, Mayuri and Kurisu. おかえりとおかりんって似てるでしょだから<笑><笑> So that's back too. Ferris no it a bite of the make in the Mayriva Mayri Mosco de Bito Shiriona Motiron Daya Do stay Masara Sona Tarima no Koto Kikuno and now Karin Dane. In some of their minds, they must think that he like got a concussion or something and has like lost his short term memory. It's like, why are you forgetting these things? Anone. And one of these timelines, I want to go to Kamima, damn it. I can't go to conventions in real life right now and I miss it so much. So I'll do with a fake one. The timeline has been corrected, it seems. At least in part. I should stop by May Queen when I have time. I'll visit sometime when Mayuri and Ferris are working. I didn't realize it until it was gone, but I think I really like that maid cafe. Parisi's reading a western book. It's the same book as always. It's pretty hefty, so it must take a long time to read. I walk past her and enter the development room. There sits the time leap machine. Today is Saturday, the 14th of August. The first time Myri died, it happened on Friday the 13th. After Suzaha's sacrifice changed the world line, Myri died on the 14th instead. Her death was delayed 24 hours exactly. If that pattern continues, her death on this world line should occur tomorrow, the 15th. Just to be safe, I should buy a few days with the time leap machine. 
I'll need time to solve the Lukako problem. I should time leap right away. Just before entering the lab, I peeked into the uh, Braun tube workshop. The 42-inch CRT was on, so there's no problem there. Still. Oh! Ah! Will Myri really die in the 15th? Ooh, what do I do here? Okay, I'm gonna save. Uh, do I... Do I have to do something with my phone? Do I have to call someone? Who can I possibly call, though? The phone wave? Do I... Do I call the phone wave? Huh, I'm kind of curious to see where this is gonna go if I keep... Just, like, if I don't do anything. I don't have solid proof. Maybe there is no pattern, it's just in my head. Alright, I'm gonna let this ride out and see what happens, and then I'll call the phone wave and see what changes. Maybe Myri dies today. Maybe she dies tomorrow. What I want more than anything is for that never to happen. What happens to Myri on this world line? I mustn't let my guard down, not until the IBN 5100 is back in my possession. At the same time, however, I want to know what happens to Myri on this world line. There's still a chance, however small, that she won't die and then she immediately dies. I'm like, oh, never mind. No, don't hesitate. Hesitation could lead to an irreparable <laughs> mistake, he says as he hesitates multiple times. I don't want to see Myri die again, to see the light fade from her eyes. It's too painful. <laughs> Alright, game, I get it. So I won't confirm Myri's death. I don't want to. All I can do is assume the worst. Retrieving the IBN, uh, the IBN 5100 is the only sure way to prevent her death. I must not rest until then. I need to time leap now. Like now. Like for real, now. Now. I can always time leap later. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I put away my phone and take a deep breath. I don't want to sacrifice anyone else. I know it's unreasonable, but I want to hope nothing will happen on this world line. A foolish dream, perhaps, but still. And then she is immediately going to die. Oh, nothing happens on the 14th. Molka's group doesn't appear at the lab, and Myri doesn't get involved in any accidents. So far, so good. The problem is tomorrow. The time is 7.30 p.m. My preparations are complete. The time leap machine is set, Moed Snake is primed, and the remote control for the TV downstairs is ready. It's all second nature to me now. Koma, uh, Komi Ma started tomorrow. Or started today, so myri has been in Ari Ariake since this morning, so I don't even get to go. Man, bummer. I told Daru not to come to the lab today, but to keep an eye on Myri instead. So even if Mocha's group shows up here, they have a low chance of killing Myri. Will the rounders come on this world line? We'll soon find out. 7.35. The door isn't kicked open. Instead, my phone rings. It's Daru. Oh, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. It's the rounders. They kidnapped her. And then they probably killed her. To them, Myri's expendable. I grin I grind my teeth in frustration. It didn't work. I still haven't averted my reason. It's funny, he's just is taking this like, oh, well, I mean, I kind of expected it. Like, he, poor Daru is probably just like, he's dying and traumatized, and then Okarin's like, oh, well, it's about what I expected to happen. I toss Moid Snake onto the couch. The preparations were a waste. Myri died somewhere else. It really does just sound like he's just like, okay. <sighs> I hang up and walk to the development room. Oh, my <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go back in time here anyway, and so once more I send my memories to the past. So it looks like it was just an extra scene I got, not really a big change. It's funny now I'm as like um, numb to my dying as uh, Okarin is. An unpleasant sound pierces my ears. 
My vision ripples, my flesh and my soul momentarily feel separate. I grab my right wrist, I close my eyes, take deep breaths, and wait for my pulse to return to normal. <sighs> the worst is over. All that's left now is a headache. Now I have my answer. Myrie's death is still fixed, just as in my heart I knew it would be. The change merely delayed it by another 24 hours. I need to cancel Lukako's email. I sit down in a pipe chair and try to come up with a plan. Nothing. I've been searching for a way to tell Lukako the truth, but every mental simulation I run ends with her in tears. I suppose that's to be expected. After all, I've, pr I've already seen it happen once. I mistook Lukako for a guy and she ended up in tears. I mean, Lukako cries at just about anything. To broach the topic now would be like poking an open wound. Damn, it looks like I have no choice but to ask Kurisu. She's a girl, so she should understand how Lukako feels. I call Kurisu out to the bench in front of the Bron Tube workshop. We're alone. ずいぶん深刻そうね。実は今何問に直面している。かなりデリケートな問題だ。デリケート？およそあんたとは正反対のビクトル上にある言葉だな。というわけで、女子のことを見込んで相談したい。女子だけに。誰よま。そもそも女
漆原さんに事情を告げなくても D メールを取り消すための D メールは用意できるルカコを装って18年前のルカコの母親へとメールを送れということかどうせ世界線が変わればその事実は全てなかったことになるこの際倫理とかデリカシーとかは無視しても問題にはならない Yen justifies the means, a philosophy worthy of a scientist. Daga Monday got to Tsar. Oreva Lukakono Hahoyano Pokebel Bongo, Shiranai. Ha? 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 お母さんのポケベル番号を担当直入に聞き出せば理由は適当に考えて警戒される気がする何ビビってんのよいつもの無駄に尊大なおかべらしくないな It's because he's growing up Vain and arrogant That was uncalled for I don't have time to be Hoi and Kyoma now そんなの口から出まかせで何とかするのよそれにほら彼女って騙されやすそうな性格だし言ってて自己嫌悪になりそう私ってひどい女だクリスウ・ハンスはだが担当直入にありのままを話すべきなのかもしれない下手に小細工をろうするより真実を告げる方がまだ誠意があるマットサイエンティストが誠意とか笑っちゃうわね洗脳してやるハハハハとか言い出した方が似合ってる<笑> I'm being serious, damn it. 俺はルカコの痛みも背負うそうしなければならないのだ最終的に D メールを取り消した時ルカコが女だったことはなかったことになる故に俺が背負わなければならないだったら私に相談する必要なんてない今すぐ彼女のところに行って私にしたように説明すればいいそうだな That's my only choice As always there are only a few worshippers at the shrine I guess that's how it can keep its dignified silence even though it's less than a 10 minute walk from Akihabara station あ、岡部さん Lugako is sweeping the courtyard. Well, crap. Now that we're face to face, I can't bring myself to tell her the truth. I recall Lukako's crying face. She looked very sad when I called her a guy. If possible, I don't want to make her cry again. No, why am I acting so weak? I can't stop here. I swore I would do anything to save Mayuri. And when Lukako said he wanted to be a girl, he probably only said it out of curiosity. If I explain everything properly, I doubt she'll refuse to become a guy again. Lukako, yo! I grab her by the shoulders and pull her close. Lukako's cheeks instantly turn bright red. Oh, no, does she think he's professing his love to her? And like I said, I'm pretty sure she has a crush on him. <laughs> oh boy. No reaction. Or so I thought. Then tears start welling up in Lukako's eyes. I mean, it might be heartless for me to say, but he could always just keep going back in time and trying again until he finds something that won't hurt her fe feelings too much. Damn, I made her cry again. But this time, I don't back down. I explain everything. About time travel. About the D-mail Lukiko sent. About Mayuri's fate. About how to avoid it. 
I talk and talk without pausing for breath. Finally, I'm done. Her voice is trembling. I think she already knows. She backs away from me, shaking her head. いきなりこんなこと言われて怖くするのもわかる。だが、全て真実だ。俺は何度もあいつの死の場面を見てきた。お前にはこんな勝手なお願いをしてすまないと思っている。だが頼む。マイリを助けるために。男に戻ってほしい。冗談だって言ってくださいよ。岡部さん。男。僕が男の子だなんて。I was hoping, I was waiting for Luca to say again, like she has memory of it. I can't stand sad, Luca. And yeah, Luca likes Okabe. I don't like this. Lugako covers her face with both hands to snuff out her sobs. Oh no, you're not making things better. Oh, because if she likes him, to hear that is like the worst possible thing. Like, I don't even think of you as a girl. Lugako jerks like someone poked her with a cattle prod. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Her crying has stopped. Um, what did I do? <laughs> She lowers her hands and looks at me. And then she smiles, a soft, sorrowful smile. You said, like, the worst possible thing. Then Lukako shakes off my hands and runs away. Lukako! Mate! She doesn't stop even when I call her. She disappears into the shrine office. Oh. It's pretty amazing. Like, as weird as he is, he seems to have all these girls who like him. Luka and Myri, I assume, and, uh, and Ferris, and maybe Kurisu. Yeah, I guess he's got some sort of charm to him. Even though he says some really dumb shit sometimes. It turned out just as my mental simulations predicted. I sigh and leave the shrine dejected. I need to come up with a plan. When I get back to the lab, I take Carisu out to the bench and explain what happened. He's like, I said the worst possible things I could have said. Thankfully, she's, he's got a time machine. Carisu listens with an annoyed expression the whole time. When I finish, she glares at me and says... He raised a flag. 
どう見てもフラグ立ったでしょあいやすでに立ってたと言うべきかもフラグとは死亡フラグのことか死んでどうする恋愛フラグよ。あっ、ロマンスフラグウルシバラさんはあんたに気がある。クリスティスは私の大好きな法王院教魔からお前は男だったと言われて彼女の純真な乙女心はずたずた。率直に真実を話すって作戦は結果的に大失敗だったことになる。<笑>恋愛となると厄介よ。あれには方程式が存在しない。人の感情は計算できない。あまりに未知数だわ。She shakes her head like she can't imagine anything worse. Has this girl never been in love? 正面から攻めるのはダメだった。きっと、本人を説得するハードルは飛躍的に高くなった。今度は別の解放を考えるべきよ。彼女のお母さんに直接話を聞きに行くとか彼女を泣かせた男としてあんたはすでに漆原家に認識されているはずだから家族のガードも固くなってるかもしれないけどルカコ likes me? I don't want to believe it I mean I appreciate the sentiment but ちなみにルカコはいつから恋愛フラグビンビンだったと思う知らんがなだってよく考えてみろあいつは一週間ほど前まで男だったんだぞその時点から好きだったのだとしたらあお<笑>それは岡部の主観でのロジックでしょ漆原さんなり私なりの主観からすれば彼女は最初から女の子だっただから別に違和感なんてこれっぽっちもない今いるこの世界線を基準に考えなさい Right, it makes perfect sense. Still. So, you see, what I see, who are none of us. Ulisibara san no sabit so tokoni modos koto de Hontoni IBN go sen yak wa modot de kuru no ka te yu koto. Mae no sekai sen to wa henka ga atta. Luka ko no chichoya no hanashi de wa IBN go sen yak wa skunak to mo i zen wa Yanabayashi jinja ni sonzai shite ita to yu koto da. スズハがフェイリスの父親に託し彼の死後にフェイリスが柳葉八神社に奉納したその流れは俺が IBN5100 を手に入れた世界線と同じなのだ段階的に元の世界線に近づいてきてるっていうことか思ったんだけど世界線ってそう簡単に変化するものじゃない気がするなぜそう思うだって世界には60億以上の人間がいるのよその中の誰か一人の性別が男から女に変わったところで世界線が大きく変わるなんて不自然鈴葉が言っていたがタイムリープによって本来と異なる行動をとった場合ダイバージェンスは変わるとしても 0.00001% だと言っていただがフェイリスの D メールを否定した時は 0.05% の変動があった 0.05% でも十分大きい天音さんはこのことについてなんて2010年はアトラクタフィールドが大きく分岐する年でありその鍵は俺と IBN5100 が握っていると IBN5100 と岡部の距離がダイバージェンスの数値を決定するのかなつまりあんたを含めたすべての人間の D メールがバタフライエフェクトによって IBN5100 のありかに影響を与えた D メールの中には俺のリーディングシュタイナーが発動しないものもあったうん逆に言えばリーディングシュタイナーが発動した D メールだけを取り消していけば IBN5100 はあんたの手元に戻ってくるのかも The remaining D mails were sent by Lukako and. Kiryu. Oh no. I don't want to see that woman again if I can help it. In any case, I should focus on Lukako right now. Then. Lukako no ken wa dou sereba i? Tsukiya tsai ba? Maji de. Tsuki na hito inai nara, bits ni tamerau hitsu yo nai desho? So yatte kanojo no kokoro, toki hogushite agereba i. 
そしたら快く教えてくれるんじゃないマユリが死ぬのは2日後だのんびり解きほぐしている暇はない Suddenly, Carice's expression turns grave. これは最後の選択肢として考えておいてほしいんだけどやろうと思えば漆原さんの人格を否定して脅してでも番号を聞き出すこともできる、oh. That was dark. どうせ世界線改変後はそのことを彼女も忘れてるはずそう考えれば最後の手段として検証する余地ありだと思う It's not quite the level of things that Okabe was thinking during Suzuha's ending, but still. Mayuri ga shinu koto ni kurabe tara mada mashi. De level da kedo ne. Watashi. Ima s u g o k a i t e na k o t i t e r na. Ya. Ara yuri shudan wo kozir no wa. Hitsyo na koto da. Da ga sare wa. Teki leba yari da kunai. I'm not saying this for myself. From my perspective, when the world line changes, everything until that point becomes undone. But what about from Lukako's perspective? What if this world line continues after I leave it behind? The Lukako of this world line will have to live with what I did to her. That possibility exists. Suzuha says that's not the case, but there's no way to be sure. And since I can't confirm or deny that possibility, I don't want to use Kurisu's last resort. Besides, I have the time leap machine. As long as I have it, I can repeat the days before Myri's death forever. Of course, there's still the danger of a time leap failure. In any case, the first thing I should do is have an honest talk with the girl in question. Time to make her sad again. I hear the tweeting of small birds outside the window. It's nice and cool early in the morning, even though it's the middle of summer. Too bad the cicadas are already chirping. The sunlight's not too strong yet. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. I was up all night thinking about Lukako. Okari! Ah! Ita! Mayuri enters the room and looks at me with a disapproving pout. She didn't say tuturu. It's rare to see her in such a bad mood. Oh, I bet Luka told her about what he did. Hayai na. Mada hachiji da zo. Kyo wa nani ka aru no ka? She gives me a glare that's more cute than frightening. She's never been very good at getting angry. But somehow that's worse. Being, having someone be disappointed in you, especially someone who's normally very、uh, cheerful, is almost worse than someone being mad at you. Myri puffs out her cheeks and thrusts a finger at me. <laughs> Those two are close friends. I should have known Lukako would get to Mayuri first. Okari, Nande so na hidoi koto ita no? Mayuri ni wa kanke nai koto da. Kore wa tai kikan ni kakamaru. Judai na kimitsu jiko de ari. Kanke na ku nai yo. Luka chan wa Mayushi no o t o m o d a c h i da mo. This is the first time I've ever seen Mayuri so angry. I'm not sure how to deal with this, honestly. I did it to save you, but I can't say that. I don't have it in me to tell this innocent girl that she's fated to die in just two days. Come to think of it, was it a mistake to tell Lukako about Mayuri's murder? I did make sure to tell Lukako not to breathe a word of it. <laughs> She's sharp, even though she never seems to be thinking anything. I'm 
昨日も外でクリスちゃんとずっと話し込んでたでしょ<笑>悩みがあるならマユシーも聞くよ<笑>マユシーにも話してほしいなねそれでねルカちゃんに謝りに行こう仲直りしに行こうマユシーも一緒に行くから<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>やれやれだな、マユリオ。この俺が悩みだと。バカも休み休みえ。この俺は狂気のマッドサイエンティスト。法王院狂魔だぞ。この俺に悩みなどない。あるのはただ。コントンへの活動と野心のみだ。<笑>よし。I get up from the sofa. どこ行くのマユシーの話はね、まだ終わってないよ。これから、ルカ子のところに行ってくる。本当謝りに行くのだったら、マユシーも。あいや、お前について来られると、いろいろ。I put my hand on Myri's shoulder like she didn't shake her this time. だから、留守番を頼む。Or maybe something completely different. I stop and watch in fascination. Finally, Lukako turns around. Our eyes meet. <coughs> I awkwardly clear my throat and walk towards him. Uh, her. Lukako bows her head. We stare at each other in silence. Crap, this is awkward. I can't stand the silence, so I try to start the conversation. マユリに何を話したす,すみませんでもこんなことマユリちゃんにしか相談できなくてどこまで話したのかという意味だほとんどは内緒にしましたマユリちゃんが死んじゃうっていうこととかも That's a relief. まだ冗談だと思っているのかルカコ shakes her head. She believes me? えー、っと大事な話というのはニャンダショウカニャンニャン I'm trying to be gentle, but for some reason I wind up talking like Ferris. I really don't know how to deal with ルカコ now that she's a girl. あのルカコ takes a deep breath as if to prepare herself. Her face is turning red for some reason. She opens her mouth to speak, then closes it again. This continues for several cycles. What's wrong with her? I raised a romance flag, that's what happened. Her tension is getting to me. My heart starts pounding like an alarm bell. So she's willing to go back to being a guy, even though I hurt her feelings? Oh, she didn't say that. She just said she believes you. But she's probably like, I don't want to, though. For her to believe me in spite of that makes me pretty happy. 
Aww, these are tears. But something strange about Lukako. She still looks wound up pretty tight. In fact, it's gotten worse. Now she looks on the verge of tears. In exchange? She wants something in return. Does she want a kiss or something? I wasn't expecting this, or a date, or something? What, 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 what? Oh, like, can you treat me like a girl, maybe? What? What is she talking about? My throat goes dry. I'm so tense and I don't know why. Boyfriend? Be my boyfriend? Lugako's voice was even softer than ever. So soft I couldn't hear her from here. Ah! Yep, yep, yep. That's what she's saying. No good. I still can't hear her. <laughs> what? Boyfriend. It takes me a while to process the word. Meanwhile, Lukako starts squirming and fidgeting. She refuses to look me in the eye. My heart is pounding. What's going on? What did she say to me? Boyfriend. Boy friend. Boyfriend. She wants me to be her boyfriend until tomorrow. Oh my gosh, when you say a word enough times, it doesn't sound like a real word anymore. What? No. <laughs> Without thinking, I ask the worst possible question. He's good at that. Lukako curls up even smaller. Her voice is as small as the buzzing of a mosquito, but it has all the courage she can muster. I feel my heart tighten at those words. <laughs> silence. <laughs> Do something, buddy. Come on. More silence. Like, even if you don't feel the same way, it's just for two days and then she won't remember. I hope. Wait just a second. This is too sudden. I mean, maybe it's not sudden exactly. I've known about Lukako's feelings since yesterday when Karisu told me about the romance, like, uh, I think it was before that. I think that was back when she was a guy, probably had those same feelings. But still, I didn't think it would come to this. My mind goes blank. Maybe, maybe that was the reason why, like, it could be that maybe Lukako always felt that she was supposed to be a girl. Or maybe it's just she had feelings for Okabe and was like, if I was a girl, maybe he would treat me differently and we could be together. I don't know. It's very sad either way that I'm going to have to ruin that for her. I can't think straight. <laughs> Lukako hangs her head waiting for my answer. She looks so cute and innocent. I feel myself drawn to... No. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's just wrong. I am not attracted to Lukako. I turn and flee like a scared rabbit. Oh god, you're the worst. I'm so embarrassed, I can't look back. Oh boy, ten minutes later I get back to the lab. Myri's eating a red bean bun. Oh, she's gonna be mad. <laughs> ルカちゃんに謝ってきたかな。そ、そうだな。重視から上ナンバーワンをレンジでチンしてディメールを集まり、ABCと。およ。すなわち電子レンジはバラ十字団の思想を受け継ぐ騎士たちの錬金術が
Alchemy, the art of taking one thing and transmuting it into another. In fiction, even human bodies and souls can be transmuted. Equivalent exchange is a fundamental law of alchemy. In the Middle Ages, alchemists attempted to use chemical processes to transmute common metals such as lead into pre uh, precious metals such as gold. Their efforts paved the way for modern chemistry. And the um, Rosicrucian order, a secret society founded in 17th century Germany by Christian Rosenkreutz. Rosenkreutz was supposedly a practitioner of alchemy and black magic. <laughs> I mutter incoherently as I set up the time leap machine. <laughs> How far did I go? As far as I can. Yeah, that's it. Far, far away from here. I jump all the way back to August 11th, the limit of the time leap, the time leap machine's range. Unfortunately, he cannot erase that memory from his mind. <laughs> That's a kind of embarrassing moment that you're gonna wake up at three in the morning and just be like, God damn it, why did I do that? <laughs> Even if nobody else remembers. When I'm done, Carissa is standing before me, fiddling with the phone wave, name subject changes wiring. She's still working on the time leap machine upgrade. I know I shouldn't interrupt her, but there's nobody else I can rely on. Oh my oh. Tensai <laughs> glaring like she's gonna kill me. Let's leave the jokes aside for now. <laughs> I briefly explained my situation and what happened with Lukako before I leaped. How many times have I explained this to Kurisu now? <laughs> Not exactly. This is the strategy I thought up. Its name is Operation Christina. Lukako reacts differently to me. I already know she'll have a breakdown if I tell her she's a guy. But she's not too familiar with Kurisu, and they're both girls, so it should be easier if Kurisu tells her. That's why I forced, I mean persuaded Kurisu to handle it. So I wait behind Kurisu and watch silently. Lukako is shy. He was distant with me back when we first met. And I can see she's made a small wall between herself and Kurisu now, too. On the other hand, Kurisu's very calm, truly reliable. Kurisu puts a gentle smile and begins her explanation. Hey. I feel like we're going to be going back in time and trying a different tactic. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, I know that one. What the hell is she talking about? まあ、これはどっちかっていうと、とんでもかがくに近い属性であって、それほど信憑性が高いわけでもないんだけど。ちょっとだけ試してみてもいいかな。な、何をですか？あなたの脳が女性としてのパターンを示しているのか、男性とし
あなたのノウハウをサンプルとして取らせてもらうだけとにかく調べればわかるってねねえ痛くしないからい嫌です<笑>ほんと大丈夫だから私が保証するからほらほらお前はどこの変態親父か I lightly chop Kurisu on the head <笑>な何よ何よではない何のためにここに来たのだルカコを怯えさせてどうする私はただ彼女に貴重な被験者として帰れこの実験大好きっ子が<笑>ああそうせっかく協力してあげたのにそういう扱いなわけだったら言われた通りに帰るあとはあんた一人で頑張りなさいクリスは帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時に帰りの時はい。がっかりなのです。マイリー puffs out her cheeks and thrusts a finger at me. Of course, I sigh in frustration. Before I time leaped, this happened on the 14th. Today is the 12th. Since I explained the situation to Lukako early, it looks like Myri's protest came early too. オカリンってば、ルカちゃんを泣かせたでしょう。ルカちゃんに相談されたんだよ。男だったって言われたって。オカリンなんでそんなひどいこと言ったのこれから会いに行ってくるから案ずるなえそうなのよかったオカリンが謝らないって言い出したらねマユシーはオカリンと絶交するつもりだったんだ That mail should come any minute now It actually came If I go to Yanabayashi Shrine now, Lukako will confess her love and ask me to be her boyfriend. <laughs> But this time I thought ahead. Christina! Christina! <laughs> do you think she's gonna go after what happened last time, though? I start yelling at the development room and begin to hear the sounds of someone moving inside. I know, but I have to do this. Christina! Oh, get out of here! Krisu comes out of the development room with sleepy, with sleepy eyes. Last night she fell asleep at the desk. The sleeves of her clothes left a mark on her cheek. Her hair's frayed, her eyes are red. She rubs those red eyes. This <laughs> part one worked out so well. <laughs>
I just imagine him standing there with a very disapproving look on his face, just annoyed. <laughs> Same as before. Only this time, I have to be her boyfriend for four days instead of just two. I guess you could say it's a bold proposal. Fortunately, I came prepared. It's time to set Operation Christina 2 into motion. Last time, things got complicated when I added that experiment-loving girl to the conversation. This time, I had her watch things from the shadows near the staircase. <laughs> I turned my back to Lukako and called Karisu.何が理由だ。今の留加子の話聞いていたか。今北産業。聞いてなかったのか。この動作じゃ聞こえるわけない。告白。15日まで。そしたら男に戻る。告白。うん。でも何をいちいち私に相談することがあるわけ。ウルシ
Well, you should have maybe done it when there was the two days, because now it's twice as long that you might, you might end up falling in love. Fall in love and you could end up walking the forbidden path. Lukako is a guy, a guy, a guy, a guy, a guy. Guy, 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 guy. <laughs> and don't you forget it. Just don't forget. <laughs> Tears immediately fall from Lukako's eyes. Her face is red and her eyes are wet with tears, yet she's really happy. Seeing her like this, all shy and embarrassed, but happy at the same time. Wow, immediately he's like, God damn it, already. It hasn't even started yet. Makes me feel... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are fucked. She's too cute. I mustn't fall in love when I'm about to. Why does every single one of her actions have to be so cute? She must be doing it on purpose. There's no other way. Lukako's cuteness is a terror of the universe. <laughs> Lukako wipes her tears away. A da? What does she mean by da? Or day, yeah. <laughs> A date? True, when a couple goes somewhere together, that's called a date. It would really be a dick move if I refused to go on a date right after we started going out. Doesn't look like she's got a place in mind. <laughs> you want to hang out at the lab with us? <laughs> So in other words, she wants me to decide for her? It's really unfair to be so cute. People will forgive you for anything you say. I scratch my head and thought. For now, I just want to get out of the sickingly sweet atmosphere that's brewing. We arrange to meet tomorrow morning, that I quickly leave the shrine behind. I breathe a sigh of relief at the sparsity of pedestrians on, uh, Menseibashi Street, or Bridge. So there? Carissa was walking behind me. She was completely useless. Oh,お前、見ていたのか? <laughs> Oh yeah. I was expecting her to give me advice. Guess I should have known better. Carisu <laughs> makes a small nasal sound. She hasn't been making eye contact. Damn Damn you, Kurisu. Must you always be so cynical? Let's just ignore her and get to the lab. But just as I quicken my pace, she grabs my shoulder and pulls me back. I wonder what, uh... wonder what Myri has to say about that if she finds out I'm going on a date with her. I almost fall down backwards. Kurisu doesn't tell me what she's irritated about. Instead, she starts rubbing her temples. あんたは迷いを助けるためにこの選択をしたのよね。私も考え方を切り替える。で、明日デートするにしてもプランはあるの？Oh, she gonna help me out? <laughs> Maybe I should get an earpiece, and she can tell me what to say. 
Although I don't think Risu probably has a lot of uh, experience with dating, so maybe she wouldn't be any help. Date plans. I told Lukako I'd come up with something by tomorrow. So far, I've made no progress. I can't help but feel uneasy about the whole thing, even though I'm doing it to save Mayuri. This calls for Hoi and Kiyoma. ジョスよ。お前に一言言っておく。アイザクニュートンと同じく。IQ170に生まれついたこの俺、法王院強馬は、狂気のマッドサイエンティストである。それで当然。マッドサイエンティストである以上、興味があるのは女よりも研究であり
女の子にお金を出させるのは現金とかいいこれ明日のデートで全部守らないとダメよ I wonder if I can really be that careful. えっとあとは清潔なハンカチを持っていくこと女の子が公園のベンチに座るときはすぐに広げてあげること俺は世話係ではない<笑>そう書いてあるんだからしょうがないでしょ How old is that book? ご飯は立ち食いそばとかファーストフードは避けるファミレスがボーダーラインそれ以上は自分の財布の中身と相談してファミレスがボーダーライン Where are the family restaurants in Akiba? 待ち合わせ場所には最低15分前には来ておくこと遅刻厳禁 I wonder how she'd feel if I took her to a maid cafe. She said she wanted to go to the places that he goes to, and he goes to the maid cafe, so. 15分前到着あとはデートコースね。映画館とか美術館、街をブラブラ歩く食事っていうのが無難だし。なるほど。意外と地味なんだな。俺はてっきり初デートというぐらいだから、夕焼けの綺麗なリゾート風海岸へ行き、そこで。ファーストキスを交わさなければならないのかとあそれすごくロマンチックマイリーオカリン became a mad scientist for my she's sake, right? Maybe it's irresponsible of me to say you don't have to act like a bad guy あじゃなくて童貞思考全開だなドラマや漫画の見すぎお前もなちなみに相手は未成年なんだからホテルに連れ込もうなんて不潔なこと考えないでよそれはない That way lie forbidden lust <laughs> Not to mention Lukako such an innocent girl If I brought her to a hotel she'd probably faint from shock まあざっとこんなところねどう私のレクチャー少しは役に立ったお前のレクチャーではなくマニュアル本のレクチャーだろう。Anyway, strolling around town counts as a date, huh? In that case, I don't have to waste money. にゃにゃ、今日な、誰かとデートするのかにゃ。Ferris comes to our table carrying drinks. お待たせしました。アイスコーヒーになりますにゃ。As usual, she pours in milk and syrup right in front of me. It's weird seeing her in this timeline after what happened in the last timeline where I was her boyfriend. Kurisu watches this with great interest. I guess this is her first time at a maid cafe. Ferris winks at me playfully while stirring Kurisu's iced coffee. Ferris looks at Kurisu. この子なのにゃえいや、こいつは女子だ。クリスは私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は私と同じように、私は But that was on the 14th, so when I time leapt to the 12th, it was undone. I shake off a pang of loneliness and return to the conversation. The next day finds me strolling around Akiba with Lukiko. Event number one lunch at a family restaurant is already complete. I took care of the bill, and now we're back out in the heat. I've got the entire day planned out in my head. Next event is. Machio Brabra Serzo, Sio. Hi. It's open holiday, so Akiba is crowded. To avoid the crowds, we end up walking through the back streets. My plan is to walk with Lukako all the way to Ueno and back. That should be enough, right? I walk quickly. It's like he's walking a dog. <laughs> This conversation thing isn't going so well. I try to follow the guide's advice and be a good listener, but Lukako's silent by nature. She doesn't really start talking on her own. Even at the family restaurant, the words we exchanged were mostly just things like, It's crowded today, it's delicious, and it was delicious. And I think it was a mistake to just wander around. 
Especially since we've ended up in a residential area with no interesting scenery whatsoever. Lukako speaks up. She's a few steps behind me. Nanda. I stop and turn around. Lukako catches up and we start walking together again. Oh. Of course, what I actually remember is how I met the male Lukako. It was during Golden Week in May. I was searching Akiba for materials to build a new future gadget when I saw Lukako in his Miko garb surrounded by some cameramen. お願いします。写真を Miko Miko Overdrive, a magical girl anime with five Miko girls as the protagonist. Its target audience is adolescent girls, but many men in their 20s like it too, for some, in for some inexplicable reason. コスプレしてアキバに来たのって写真撮られるためなわけでしょ。なのに嫌がるとかおかしくない。そうだよ。それとも俺たちがキモいからキョヒってるわけ。違います。これはコスプレじゃなくて。To be honest, the Miko Gar fascinated me because Miko are sacred, chosen to serve the gods. I know college girls are doing it for money these days, but as far as I'm concerned, that's sacrilege. As is demanding to photograph a sacred Miko, I couldn't let it pass. ハイロドノーサイボーの持ち主にして世界に混沌をもたらす狂気の末サイエンティストだ。何こいつ。マジ吉。それぐらいでやめておけ。そのミコが嫌がっているだろう。ちょ、なんという中二病ですか。かっこよく女の子を助けてセックルに持ち込もうとしてんじゃね下心見え見えこれだからドキュンはお <laughs> oh god i remember the term smex uh so much sex <laughs> oh god i remember like reading that a lot uh back in like the mid 2000s online oh my gosh what a what a flashback かよわい女子に男2人でまとわりつき甘つさえ変態写真を撮りたいと懇願するとは、オタクのプライドすら捨てたかいえ、あの、僕は… なんだと可愛い三次元女子をローアングルから狙うのはみんなやってるだろう素人のくせに男かけ止まるなって言いたいね秋葉にコスプレしてきてる時点で無差別に取られても文句言えないでしょマジで違うんです僕は僕は男
喉仏もありません。Lugako lifted his chin a bit, exposing his pale neck. That gesture was really sexy, but there was indeed a lump on his neck. <sighs> Lugako nodded reluctantly. Well, obviously, even before Luca met uh, him, uh, met uh, Okabe, he seemed like he maybe wanted to be a girl. He was already crying by that point. So were the cameramen. <laughs> They left the place mumbling complaints all the while. Those bastards were a disgrace to otaku everywhere. Daru would have said something like, Someone this cute can't be a girl. So you're a trap? Awesome. Daru is the true otaku. あの、どうもありがとうございました。ん?のいや。でも僕みたいな男を助けて、がっかりですよね。期待に添えなくてすみません。お前名前は？え？ウルシバラ。ルカです。なぜ俺に謝った？だって僕こんな顔なのに男だし。そんなことはどうでもいい。お前が男だろうが女だろうが関係ない。だがその悲願だ根性。Oh, that's so sweet. That's why he took him in as his, like, disciple, to be like, we need to get your confidence up, and that's why you have to have Samadari. You need to become stronger. That's really cute, actually. え?つい来い。お前にいいものをやる。そのアイテムさえあれば、お前は勇気を得るだろう。お前の中に眠る真の力の存在にも気づくはずだ。えどうした力が欲しくないのかいえ、えっと、力ですかそうだ俺はお前に力を与えることができるさあ、求めろ星よ力をカメラ小僧にも負けないお前だけの力を求めるのだ。まさかその後、武器屋本舗に行って、サミダレを買ってもらえるとは思ってもみませんでした。So in this one, I guess she was like in this version of her timeline, she was a girl and was still getting harassed, and basically he treated her exactly the same. No. Yeah. I didn't expect he'd actually come with me, but when he did, I realized that he had potential. That's why I bought him the eight, 980 yen tax-included demon sword. Afterwards, Lukako and I went through intense training to develop the Seishin Zanma School of Swordsmanship. In retrospect, I can't believe I said all that ridiculous stuff. It makes me want to crawl into a hole and hide. Wait, what? So on this one, Luca, when Luca says it didn't matter, didn't matter what? Didn't matter? Because he said it didn't matter that you're a guy, but in this one, Luca's a girl. I'm so confused. Luca's cheeks then turn rosy pink. Her blush is too powerful. I have to look away. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is he thinking the same thing I am? Wait a goddamn second. Is she saying what I think she's saying? But that Lukako was a guy. Yeah, does that mean I made the guy Lukako fall in love with me? My mind goes blank. Oh god. 
By the time I drop her back off at the shrine, I'm worn out physically and mentally. We ended up walking for four hours straight, which was tiring, but my mental exhaustion is greater. In the end, we didn't talk much. We just walked. She's just saying that out of consideration. I can tell she's forcing her smile. All through the date, I couldn't stop thinking about the time Lukako fell in love with me, so I barely made conversation at all. That manual was completely useless. On this world line, Lukako was a girl from the beginning, so Lukako's memories of when we first met might be inconsistent with mine. But even with that in consideration, Lukako's story still felt out of place. <laughs> Lukako fidgets as she whispers. Nanda. <laughs> She wants to go on a date again tomorrow? I mean, we are a couple, and we are going out, and that means we like each other, and it's summer break right now, so it's natural to go on a date every day. Lukako smiles again. She looks so happy and relieved. Seeing her like this makes incomprehensible feelings well up inside me. I feel a huge weight on my shoulders. Another date tomorrow. Tomorrow. Maybe plan it a little bit better. Alright guys, so that will do it for this episode. That was really sweet, and I'm happy that uh, we're focusing on Lukako, because uh, she, I guess she right now, is one of my favorite characters, and she kind of got sidelined for a bit, and I'm very excited because I think the next episode, it seems like we're gearing towards potential for Lukako's uh, ending, and... I'm very excited to see what happens there. You know, obviously, Okabe is going to uh, fail in his uh, plan to not catch feelings for her. <laughs> so I want to see that ending so bad. I think that might be my favorite one, even before I've seen it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Special shout out to my top tier patrons. Namara Kito, Sparky, Icognito, Simon Rax, Mad Goldsmith, Harry Gaziff, and Asborn Kennedy.